Over the weekend, as we've talked about, Donald Trump made his return to the big stage, giving his first big speech of 2022. And my goodness, wall to wall, was it bonkers. But that's no surprise. Although one thing I want to focus in on this video is what we saw from last year. It builds on the obvious, sharp, rapid cognitive decline and dementia we've been seeing from Donald Trump. And in the following few clips, you can see it clear as day. Not to buy Christmas gifts. You say to your loved one, darling, I'm sorry. I love you very much, but I just can't. There's no merchandise in Tiffany. There's no, I wanted to buy the most beautiful ring, but they don't have any rings anymore. Nobody has anything. We never even heard the term supply chain. You know, if you talk supply chain is not something that we even talked about, and that's what happened. And it's a very sad thing. The, I'm a professional witch hunter beater. Oh, we're gonna go ahead of COVID. We're gonna go ahead of COVID. We did have tremendous success. You know, did you ever hear some of the little, the little uh, things where they analyze elections? If you win Ohio and Florida, you always win. We won Ohio and Florida. But if you win Ohio and Florida and Iowa, and we won big, all of them, then 100%. If you win a certain number of states having to do with legislatures and state, we want all of them, every one of them. There's like 15 of them, different, different little tests, and we want them all. The only thing we didn't win was the election, you know? <laughs> that crowd. They talk about the people that walked down to the Capitol. They don't talk about the size of that crowd. I believe it was the largest crowd I've ever spoken before and they were there to protest the election you were there right am i right i think it was the largest crowd i've ever and the fake news never talks about it they never talk about it exactly how many of those look look i'm not doing this to make fun of donald trump i mean i love making fun of donald trump but it's objectively sad to see someone wither away in public like this and that doesn't mean i feel bad for donald trump but it does mean that like no one in this guy's life loves him enough cares about him enough to pull him aside and say sir dad you know whatever my husband you need to take care of yourself you're clearly losing your mental faculties in world record pace and you're really struggling you're going off on weird tangents you're still admitting to crimes even though you support the big lie you're admitting that you lost the election you're making really weird noises you're calling supply supply chains supply change it is embarrassing and he's doing this with a teleprompter he freaked out at one other point in the speech we covered it yesterday about how his teleprompter wasn't working but if this is a man with a teleprompter what is he without it if this is a man that all he has to do is get up there and read a speech he's not just talking freeform like i am right now if he just has to get up there and read a speech and he sounds like that how badly broken is his brain. All he really has to do is read a speech and try to entertain his cult-like audience. And he can't even do that. We talked yesterday about how people were leaving. And there's a great tweet from a journalist showing how Trump couldn't even get good applause. It says, Trump just referred to the J6 arrestees as political prisoners, gets very muted response from the AZ crowd. So he turns to Antifa, which gets a little bit more reaction, but not much more. Nothing worked here. This is a broken man with a broken brain. And if anyone actually cared about him, I don't give a damn about him, but if anyone cared about him, they would tell him that and try to get him the help he needs. But because everyone around Trump is almost as awful as he is, maybe sometimes even a little bit worse, they're just going to ride him for the money and for the potential access to power while he withers away into nothingness.